We are here today to share the message of the cross. The message of the cross. The cross of Jesus Christ. The message, that wonderful message. The wonderful message of the cross. What did the cross mean for you? What did the cross, the cross of Jesus Christ mean for you? Our God is a good God. He means greatness, great things. The cross of Jesus Christ means wonderful things. Jesus love you, young lady. The cross of Jesus means great things, means freedom. The cross of Jesus Christ means salvation, salvation to all mankind. The cross of Jesus Christ means forgiveness. The cross of Jesus Christ means victory. The cross of Jesus Christ means peace. Because without a cross, there's no peace. Without the cross of Jesus Christ, there is no forgiveness. Without the cross of Jesus Christ, there is no love. God bless you, sister. Thank you. Without the cross of Jesus Christ, there is no way. There was no way before he came. We are, we are all stuck before. No escape. But the cross came. Jesus Christ died for us on the cross. And made the way of escape for every one of us. So we can be able to escape. The wrath, the evil of death. So the cross of Jesus Christ means a lot of things for us. Without the cross of Jesus Christ, there is no victory. There is no life, young man. Jesus loves you. Jesus care for you, okay? Jesus died for your sins, young man. Without the cross of Jesus Christ, there is no, no goodness, no mercy. The cross brings mercy to us. The cross brings love to us. The cross brings forgiveness to us. The cross of Jesus Christ Speaking, speaks so many things. Jesus died on that cross to set us free. The cross of Jesus Christ is freedom. Without the cross, that is no freedom. Without the cross, young people, that is no freedom, okay? God bless you. The cross of Jesus Christ means salvation for us. Without the cross, there is no salvation. But with the cross, you are saved. Without the cross, there is no way through. I have found the right way. The way that never changed. Jesus, the only way that leads to eternal life. I have found the right way. The way that changes not. Jesus, the only way that leads to eternal life. I have found the right way. The way that never fails. Jesus, the only way that leads to eternal life. I have found the right way, the way that never fails. Jesus, the only way that leads to eternal life. Have you found the right way, the way that never fails. Jesus, the only way that leads to eternal life. Have you found the right way, the way that never fails. Jesus, the only way. That lives the eternal life. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the way. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you found the right way, young man? The way that never fails. Jesus the only way that leads to eternal life. Have you found the right way? The way that never fails. Jesus the only way that leads to eternal life. I have found the right way. The way that never fails. Jesus, the only way that leads to eternal life. I have found the right way, the way that never fails. Jesus, the only way that leads to eternal life. The right way is the way of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The right way is the way of the cross. Amen. There is no other way that gives life. There is no other way to follow to eternity except the right way. And Jesus, the cross. The cross is the right way. The cross of Jesus. Once you have the cross, you have the way. Once you have the cross, you have the peace of God. In the middle of us, we are looking for peace. And your boss today are eager to have peace in their home, peace in their family, peace in their life. But my, my question to you today is, do you have a cross? Ah, God bless you. Jesus loves you, okay? God bless you. Do you have the cross? The cross of Jesus. The cross of Jesus gives us peace. Gives us joy, gives us freedom. Without the cross, God bless you. God bless you. Without the cross, that is no peace. Without the cross, that is no freedom. Without the cross, that is no goodness. Without the cross, that is no mercy. This world is full of wickedness. Wickedness in this is in this life. But the cross of Jesus Christ brings peace to us, young people. The cross of Jesus brings peace. Hello, young lady. Jesus love you, okay? That cross give you peace. If you have the cross, you have peace. If you have the cross, you have joy. If you have the cross, you have love. If you have the cross, you have goodness. If you have the cross, you have mercy of God. Because the cross have all these wonderful riches. Without the cross, you are poor. Without the cross, you lose. Without the cross, you are lost. Cross gives us victory. Cross makes us to have gain, to gain everything, to gain heaven. When you have the cross, you have heaven. You have the cross, you have victory. You have the cross, you have joy. You have the cross, you have goodness of God. You have the cross, you have good health. You have the cross, you have God's, God's good spirit. If you have the cross, you have everything, brother. The cross is the whole thing for us. Okay? God bless you. The cross. It's everything. Jesus love you, man. Love you, my friend. The cross, the cross, the cross of Calvary is everything. The cross of Calvary means so much for us. It means so much. That cross means good health. When you have the cross, you have a good position in life. Are you well planted? When you have the cross, the cross plants you to the right garden. When you have the cross, the cross position you. It's the only good position you have. Jesus loves you, okay? The cross, the cross, the cross of cover. The cross of Jesus Christ 
bring victory to us. The cross of Jesus Christ brings the grace of God down to us. For that cross is the grace. That is grace in the cross. The cross of Jesus Christ. That is grace in that cross. That is victory in that cross. The cross of Jesus Christ gives us victory. God bless you, sister. The cross of Jesus Christ makes us to be wise. The cross of Jesus opens our eyes. Without the cross of Jesus Christ, you are blind. Brother. I'm God bless you. God bless you. Wow. Yes. And you. Yes. 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 In the book of Messiah, chapter 39, yeah. there's a direct word from Jesus. Um, I don't know if you know it, but it's not my heart. So, I will not reveal the whole truth in detail, for there is one guest who yeah. will be a beautiful person. That's the narrative. A beautiful person. Aha! But I will give you that one hundred thousand. I just, I just want to say, he's got, he's got a church going. Uh, he's not going to give up his church for you, but the church is bringing him peace already. Fifty bags. Okay, let's go for the book of Isaiah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if you could just shed some knowledge of what that verse actually means, I'll, I'll reiterate it. So you think so you believe Jesus Christ have lived in the time of Isaiah, yes? No, no. Yeah, this is the word of Jesus that means that Jesus Christ has been. No, you can't say that you're saying you need God, so that must be. Now, so you believe Jesus Christ is God? No, he said you believe that. You know, you believe that. If you can't believe that Jesus Christ is God, how come that Jesus Christ comes after Isaiah? Yeah, Jesus Christ comes after Isaiah. And now you are saying that Jesus Christ says a word in Isaiah. What? 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 No, what I'm saying is, I want clarity. Okay. So, so that that chapter 29, the yeah. book of Isaiah. Yeah. Who who is that a word of? Number one, uh, Jesus Christ is God. Okay. He's so you are right. He's not. God. He can't be God. He's he's God. God. No, it's a contradiction. God. Let, you said this. Listen, 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 how can you, how can he be God if he if he died? So okay. How can you can you say the word that Muhammad said before he was born? What the what what Muhammad tell you before he was born? Nothing. So that means that Muhammad is a prophet. He started existing after he was born. Yes? Right? So, so now you are saying that the word of Jesus Christ is in Isaiah. And Jesus Christ came during the time after Isaiah after Isaiah. So now you are confirming to me. That Jesus Christ is God. Okay. 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 Right. Let us read that. Let us read that Isaiah. So we read it. So we know. Before you read it, who, who wrote that? Who is the word of Isaiah? Let, let us. Let us. You just put. Did you put it? I did. Okay. So shall we read that Isaiah chapter twenty-five? Verse what? I'm not sure which verse it is. Well, we wanna. We wanna. Read it. Just read it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let me put it in. Yeah. Allah is God. Okay. Muhammad is his messenger. That's true. Allahu alayhi wa You are right. I think that sums it up. Huh? That sums it up. That sums it up. You are right. You are right. I'm right. A messenger. Alhamdulillah. Muhammad is the messenger of God. Woo! Jesus Christ is God. Okay, so. So Muhammad is the messenger of Jesus. Is that okay? 
Yeah. Is that okay for you to believe? <laughs> Come on. You just said it now. You just said it. You just said it. When she was on the video, they asked him about the final hour. Yeah. And he said, I do not know the final hour. Yes. Well, that knowledge is only with my father. Yes. So how can you go if you didn't know the knowledge of the final hour? Do you, do you know why? Because if Jesus Christ know, tell you, if Jesus Christ tell you the knowledge, or oh, if Jesus can tell you when he's gonna come back, yes. yeah, yes. what are you gonna do if you're wise? That's fine. No, tell me what you're gonna do. That's fine. I understand that. You understand that. But okay. So you're gonna wait until that time. Yeah? No, no, then you know you're gonna change. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He knows the hour. Yeah. But he, he don't, knows don't wanna tell you. There's a contradiction, He knows the hour, but he don't wanna tell you because he will tell you. He knows everything. He knows nothing. He's a creator. He created you. Do you do you know that before Abraham Jesus Christ was? Do you know that before Abraham Jesus Christ was? You know before Abraham Jesus Christ was. Where was he? Do you know from where Abraham started existing? From the creation, from the Genesis, from Genesis. So before Abraham, Jesus Christ was. So if Jesus Christ was before Abraham, so Jesus Christ, Senior Abraham, yes, he said it. Jesus Christ said, he didn't said before Abraham that he was. So if Jesus Christ was Senior Abraham, so then, how do you, who is Jesus? Jesus is the messenger of God. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me say one more, more thing. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no God to be yes. worshipped except Allah. Okay. And Muhammad is his final messenger. Okay, so who, Allah is, brought him who, who, who is Allah? Look, Allah is the only God worthy of worship. God. The God that created all things. Fantastic. Alhamdulillah. So, so do you know that Jesus Christ is God? No. A man cannot be God. Okay. Do you, do you know that Jesus Christ is the word of God that came from heaven and he existed before, before Abraham? Jesus Christ was in existence before Abraham. You know that. You understand that Jesus Christ was in existence before Abraham. So Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is God. You gotta believe it. If you don't believe it, you're going you're doing the wrong thing, you're going the wrong way. So Jesus Christ is God, everybody. That's the truth. You see how the truth, you see what the truth have done now. The truth have cleared the air. The truth have clear all the lies. God bless you. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Muhammad is dead and is not coming back. Jesus Christ is coming back again to judge the whole world, brother. I don't want to. I don't want to serve. I don't want to belong to a dead, a dead man that cannot come back again. My Lord Jesus Christ is alive. He is a great God. The truth has prevailed. The truth has prevailed. The truth is that Jesus Christ is God. The truth is that Jesus Christ is before Abraham. And we know that we, every one of us, we are all children of Abraham. Every one of us. We are all children of Abraham. And yet, Jesus Christ is greater than Abraham. And Jesus Christ has existed before Abraham. And this shows us that Jesus Christ is God. What a great God we serve. What a great Jesus. He's God. He's God. He's faithful. He's just. He's wonderful. He's great. Jesus Christ never fell. He never changed. He never disappoints us. Jesus Christ's name is highly lifted up. And the name of Jesus Christ never knew bows. And every time confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You can see, every one of us can see the truth. The truth shines. The truth is light. When the truth is tell, when you hear the truth, when you hear the story of the truth, you know the truth is light. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And Jesus Christ is God. And Jesus Christ is God. Are you God? You are not God, yeah? But you are, are you God? You're not God, is it? So you, you, are, you are very low. <laughs> you are very, very low. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ is God, brother. Jesus Christ is God. Hello, brother. Jesus love you. Our God is faithful. Our God is just. So the truth is that 
Jesus Christ died to set us free. There is no other person. There is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. It must be the name of Jesus Christ. It must be him, the Son of God. It must be the Savior. Our uh, God is a God bless you, sir. How are you doing? Yes, sir. God bless you. Great is the faithfulness of God. Great is the loving kindness of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus love every one of you, okay? What is the lamb that was slain? The truth has prevailed. The truth has overcome. The truth has shined as light. Because the truth is light. And the Bible says that Jesus Christ is that light. He shines. Once the name of Jesus Christ is called, the light shines. The light shines. So we are living in the light, okay? The days of the light. God bless you. This is the days of the light, the days of Jesus Christ. Do you understand? Do you know who Jesus Christ is? Do you know that Jesus Christ is God? He's God, okay? You're going to believe it. That's the truth. Jesus Christ is Lord, everybody. He's the King of God. So we are talking about a cross today. The cross. The cross of Jesus Christ. The cross gives us victory, just as you can see. The cross has given me victory today. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ is Lord. What is the lamb that was slain? The name of Jesus Christ is highly lifted up. Above every other name. Hello, young lady. Do you know Jesus died for you for your sin to set you free? Do you know Jesus loved you? Our God is a good God. Our God is faithful, our God is just. That is not like unto God. How are you? God bless you. What happened? Oh man. Yeah, because I was in the house. I was in the house. And the house. He was in the house. He was in the house. He was in the house. Every time from this time, I don't have too many feelings.
the Lamb of God that was slain. Oh, you are glorious. You are worthy to be praised. The Lamb of God that was slain. You are glorious. You are worthy to be praised. The Lamb of God that was slain. Oh, God. to be praised, the Lamb of God, that was slain, that was slain. God, you are glorious, God, you are worthy to be praised, the Lamb of God, that was slain, the Lamb of God, that was slain, the Lamb of God, that was slain. God, you are glorious. You are worthy to be praised. The Lamb of God that was slain. You are glorious. You are worthy to be praised. The Lamb of God that was slain. The Lamb of God that was slain. That was slain. The Lamb of God that was slain. God is glorious. God is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be honored. He is worthy to be exalted. He is worthy to be glorified. He is worthy to be lifted up on high. Lifting up the name of Jesus Christ, who is the author and the salvation is the finisher. Is the finisher. Is the finisher. Our God is a good God. He's a great God. Jesus Christ is God. Every knee must bow, and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is God. And bro, every knee bow, every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is God. To God's glory the glory of God. Every of our new must bow. Every of our tongue must confess. Because he is God. Okay? If you have man, Jesus Christ is God, okay? He is God. He is risen from the dead. The only, only thing that makes our rest is when he is God. God resurrected. God is spirit. Do you understand? 